Hey guys, Sneaky Kitty Game Dev here, and this is going to be part 9 of our pinging tutorial series. And in the previous video, we started on some optimizations, and we got a lot of the stuff cleaned up. Now what I want to do in this video is I want to set it up so after X amount of seconds have elapsed, I want to basically disable or hide slash remove the ping. So to do that, we're going to set up a property, and we're going to call this one, let's do float, um, let's do ping time. I guess it'll work. So ping time, we're going to give that a default value of something like 5. So it should be active for about 5 seconds. And now what we want to do is, well, set it up. So no matter what, set active is going to be kind of handled by the server. Well, client as well, just for the sake of responsiveness. So what we want to do is set it up so if we have authority, we want to set up a timer to basically disable be active. So set it to false. So here we want to do actually two checks. So if be is active, or be active is true, and we have authority. So in here, we want to f timer handle. Let's just call it t temp because it's just a temporary handle. Get world. Get timer manager. We want to set timer for the temp handle. This and we want to pass in the function. So we need to create a function for it. So I'm just going to do void. Let's do a ping time elapsed. And create the definition. So that's going to be our function. So we can pass that on in. And we want to set the rate to be the let's see, ping time. And then false because we do not want it to loop. So that's going to eventually trigger this function here. So what we're going to do is set be active to equal false. And then simply call on rep active. That's it. So that way it'll take care of it for client and server. So we can go ahead and give that a try. We are already uh, ticking or printing out our tick. We have it set to five seconds. So let's just hit play. I go ahead and I ping. Maybe I removed the... Uh, I think I removed the print, did I? Okay, yes I did. I don't know why. Uh, let's just call it ticking. I just want to confirm that it does in fact disable tick. But uh, it based on what it's doing, it really should. All right, so it's spamming ticking. Wait for it to just disappear. It's gone. I clear the log. No more things are getting printed. So we know we're good to go. All right, so I'm not worried about that. What I am worried about is the timer. So we actually are going to want to probably make reuse of this. So basically, every time you ping, you know, you'll actually, I can just show you right here. So I'll play with one client for the sake of ease of use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I ping again, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. It didn't wait until the full five seconds. They cleared out itself earlier. And it also has multiple timers kind of being running because we're you're using a new handle each time. So we want to store this handle. So let's go ahead and move it on up. So let's call this one T ping time. And that is going to be the handle we use. So now, let me go ahead and run live coding. Anytime we call set timer for this handle, it is going to basically clear it out and reset it. So when I ping now, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, you can see that it actually reset the timer. So that way, instead of, you know, constantly uh, kind of having weird intervals, you have a consistent one. So we can spawn. All right, client is not spawning. Server is. So we can just check that on the server really quick. Seems like that is good to go. And that is. I'm going to relaunch to make sure that it's not, you know, broken on the client. 
Okay, we're back in the editor. Let me try with the client. I ping. Okay, so it was just an engine bug. So I can still ping all around just like I want. So no matter what, we're pretty much good to go and then it'll despawn. So these two should both be cleared out, just like so. Okay, so we have the basics of our timer delay, so to speak. So this is when you would probably want to set up some sort of event or basically uh, kind of slowly fade out your opacity for, well, the actor. So basically all in the material. So that's kind of how you can drive that. It's relatively straightforward. It's not, not really too bad at all. All right, and that's all I can think of for this video. I'm not sure what we'll do in the next one, but that's going to wrap this one up. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below. We have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as a uh, Conquest tutorial series. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.